हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कथा इन दिस सेगमेंट वील सी हाउ टू पॉइंट एट पॉइंट डी एफ टी यूजिंग डी आई टी एफ एफ टी अलगोरिदो ना द क्वेश्चन इज श्योर एन इनपुट सिक्वेंस इज गिवन विद सम सैम्पल्स लाइक वन टू टू वन वन टू टू वन एंड इट इज आज टू फाइंड इट्स डी एफ टी यूजिंग डी आई टी एफ एफ टी अलगोरिदो नो बाय द सेम प्रोसेस फर्स्ट वील राइट श्योर the number of samples are 8 now know that uh, fft algorithms are also known as radix 2 algorithms that means we can write n is equals to 2 to the power r where r is nothing but base or we can say it is radix here number of samples are 8 which we equate to 2 raised to r therefore we can write r is equals to 3 that means in this case we have to draw three stage decimation that means the given sequence will be divided into three stages in previous example we have seen it for four point where we are having only two stages now we'll get three stage so i have drawn eight lines that represents eight points now the same process decimation in time try to divide the given sequence into even and odd samples now you can see the even samples are going to be x0 x2 then we are having x4 and then x6 and remaining are going to be the odd samples x1 x3 x5 and x7 so based on that we'll try to map them starting with two points first we'll write the points x0 x4 then next even x2 x6 then next odd samples x1 x5 then this is x3 and x7 as it is a four point dft you can see we have been formed x0 x4 group then 2 6 then 1 5 3 7 it simply shows the symmetry and because of that we have written in this form now in first step we'll map these two points similarly these two samples now we'll come across odd samples 1 5 3 and 7 as usual these terms are multiplied with minus and now the base is 8 so the total factor will be omega 8 0 for first stage omega 8 raised to 0 this is also omega 8 raised to 0 and this is omega 8 raised to 0 this will be our first stage of decimation now in second stage we'll try to map between remaining terms again we'll go for the same even and odd samples so i'm mapping now x0 with x2 x4 with x6 counterpart x2 x0 and then x6 with x4 similarly in case of this also odd samples x1 is mapped with x3 x5 is mapped with x7 x3 is mapped with x1 and x7 is mapped with x5 now this is the second stage of decimation so we need two total factors first one we'll write omega 8 0 second one is omega 8 square this we have obtained from butterfly structure of dit fft algorithm this is omega 8 0 this is omega 8 square again when we were with total factors they are multiplied with minus 1 now this is second stage of decimation now we'll come across third stage now in third stage try to map all even with odd samples so we'll take first e1 x0 it is mapped with first odd sample x1 next e1 with next odd similarly next even with next odd and final even with final odd the counterpart in upward direction this is it and this is the last one now if you see here it is the third stage of decimation we'll get total factors 4 8 0 8 1 omega 8 square and this is omega 8 raised to 
they are now multiplied with minus signs so this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and this gives us the final DFT sequence x0 x1 x2 this is x3 this is 4 5 6 and 7 now we'll try to find first the values of all twiddle factors now you see we need twiddle factor values like 80 81 82 and 83 so how will you determine this so they are being determined based on a schematic as we have seen it for four point also this is for four point now this is divided into eight samples so again we'll divide this further so we can divide it like this so that we'll get six quadrants and one more time if i divide we'll get eight quadrants so we'll write the terms now this is omega eight zero in this direction omega eight one this is omega eight square omega at raised to three omega at raised to four omega at raised to five omega at raised to six omega at raised to seven now if you repeat those values again we'll get this is eight raised to eight nine ten and so on now coming to the part of their values we know that first value will be one its counterpart minus one because they are on the positive and negative real axis now omega eight raised to one it makes an angle of 45 degrees 45 degrees means cos 45 with sine 45 so see this quadrant is having positive real axis and negative main real axis so based on that we can write cos 45 as 1 by root 2 this is going to be positive and negative imaginary minus j by root 2 omega 8 square it is on imaginary axis as minus j now omega 8 raised to 3 it is in between negative imaginary and negative real power so this is 1 by root 2 minus minus j by root 2 both the values are going to be negative omega 8 raised to 5 negative real axis positive imaginary axis so this value will be minus 1 by root 2 and imaginary is positive so plus j by root 2 omega 8 raised to 6 is on positive imaginary axis so its value will be plus j and omega 8 raised to 7 it is in between positive real and positive imaginary so both the values are positive we will get plus 1 by root 2 plus j by root 2 now We'll try to find output of first stage decimation and so on so i'm putting this for output of first stage as a0 a1 a2 a3 this is 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 output of first stage see it here first term is a naught a naught is dependent upon the values as x0 and x4 so we will write this equation as a naught is equal to x0 addition with twiddle factor and x4 similarly a1 now this it is going to be plus and minus so we can write directly subtraction x0 minus omega 80 x4 similarly we will come across a2 now if you see a2 is having first input as x2 and second input as x6 with addition so x2 plus omega 80 into x6 similarly a3 it is in a reverse direction so we write a3 is equal to x2 minus omega 8 naught into x6 now in next case we will need a4 a4 x1 with x5 so this is a4 is equal to x1 plus omega 80 into x5 next a5 reverse x1 minus omega 80 into x5 now we'll come across a6 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 has the first input as x3 and second input is x7 so addition of these two we'll write x3 plus 
omega 80 into x7 and finally a7 subtraction of these two as x3 minus omega naught into x7 now we'll put their uh, values see it here x naught is given as 1 this is 1 then we are having this is x1 so x1 is 2 this is x2 x2 is 2 this is x3 x3 is 1 x4 is 1 x5 is 2 x6 is 2 and x7 is 1 so we'll get this terms now we'll add them one by one starting with the first value x0 plus omega at to 0 into x4 both are 1 1 so 1 plus 1 is going to be 1 omega at to 0 will be 1 next this is the subtraction of these two terms 1 minus 1 will be 0 here x2 plus x6 you can see both the values are 2 so we'll get 2 plus 2 as 4 here 2 minus 2 will be 0 this is the term next x1 with x5 now again both the inputs are 2 so this is 2 plus 2 4 subtraction 2 minus 2 will be 0 In next case x3 x7 both the inputs are 1 1 so this is 1 plus 1 2 1 minus 1 will be 0 so this is our first stage decimation output starting with a0 to a7 now here we'll write output of second stage see it here first b0 b0 is having the first input if i first input will be a0 and the second input we are getting you can trace like this this is going to be a2 so this is a0 plus total factor omega 80 into a2 now b1 we'll write b1 is equal to b1's first input is a1 and its second input you can see this is this line if you trace we'll get a3 so this is plus omega at square into a3 now we'll come across b2 b2 first input is a0 second input is a2 with minus sign so exactly a reverse of this we can write a0 minus omega 80 into a3 a2 sorry and b3 will be the same a1 minus omega 8 square into a3 now next we'll write b4 b4 is having the first input as a4 so this is a4 plus total factor a6 omega 80 into a6 next b5 first input is a5 plus omega 8 square and this is the second input as a7 so we are getting a7 now remaining terms b6 and b7 again they are going to be the very first one so b6 a4 minus omega 8 0 a6 and b7 will be a5 minus omega 8 square into a7 now we will put those values in the given equations a0 we got we'll keep it aside now a0 is 2 plus omega at 0 is 1 into a2 a2 we got 4 so 2 plus 4 will be 6 next a1 a3 a1 is 0 plus omega at raised to 0 sorry omega at square omega at square we got minus j into a3 is 0 so the value is going to be 0 b2 b2 2 minus 4 will be minus 2 and this value will be 0 because both the inputs are 0 now we'll come across b4 it is addition of a4 a4 we got as 4 plus omega at 0 is 1 a6 is 2 so 4 plus 2 will be 6 next b5 b5 is equals to a5 plus a7 you can see a5 and a7 both are 0 that means automatically this entire value will be 0 next a4 a4 is 4 minus omega at 0 is 1 into a6 is 2 4 minus 2 will be 2 and this is 0 because both the inputs are 0 now we got second stage output also 
starting with 6, 0, minus 2 and so on. Now, based on this, we will come across the final stage. That is output of third stage or final stage. See it here. We will write the terms simultaneously. First term, x0. x0 you see x zeros first input is b0 and the second input this is stretch is b4 so we will write it is equal to b0 plus twiddle factor omega 8 naught into b4 next we will come across x1 is equal to x1's first input is b1 plus obviously if it is b4 it will be b5 plus omega 8 1 into b5 next x2 obviously x1 b1 x2 will be b2 plus omega 8 square b5 ke baad aega, b6 next is x3 obviously first input will be b3 plus omega 8 cube into b7 4 5 6 7 b0 b1 b2 and b3 now we'll come across the next x4 x4 is having if you see uh, the first input is now b0 with minus n that means exactly reverse of this so by the way we'll write b0 minus omega at 0 b4 x5 again exactly reverse with b1 minus omega 8 b5 x6 b2 minus omega 8 square into b6 and this is x7 b3 minus omega 8 cube into b7 i hope you got those equations now once you got these equations our next step is just to put those values so i am taking reference of this reference of the values that we have got we will put those values we got b naught as 6 so this is 6 plus omega 8 naught will be 1 into b4 b4 we got 6 so this is 6 into 6 will be 12 that means the first sample value is 12 this one b1 b1 we got as 0 so this is 0 and b5 is also 0 if the both the inputs are 0 definitely this is going to be 0 next x2 x2 is dependent on b2 and b6 b2 we got minus 2 plus omega 8 square omega 8 squares value is minus j so this is minus j into b6 is 2 so this is minus 2 minus 2j next x3 x3 is having both the inputs b3 b7 which are 0 so this is 0 x4 x4 is b0 and b4's difference so this is 6 minus 6 will be 0 x5 will be 0 because b1 b5 are 0 next x6 x6 recently we have said this minus 2 minus j into 2 so this minus minus becomes plus so i am writing this value here this side so it will be minus 2 plus 2j and x7 as it is depends on b3 and b7 this is going to be 0 now we got all the uh, dft values we will collect them starting with x0 to x7 i am writing finally the sequence is x0 is equal to first value is 12 then 0 then this is minus 2 minus 2 j then it is 0 0 0 then this is minus 2 plus 2 j and finally it is 0 so this becomes our discrete Fourier transform now to verify whether we got the same or exact correct result always remember this term if we are getting some complex terms in first few samples in the last samples there should be a complex conjugate of it you can see we got this term minus 2 minus 2j and this is its complex conjugate minus 2 plus 2j so once you got this that means our result is same or our result is correct this is because we have seen in the first lecture it should show symmetry property so it should be a complex conjugate I hope you got these points if you practice more you know, the time will be required is going to be less so based on that one can find dft of the given sequence 
maybe for four points or maybe for eight point and this is x of thank you